What's going on, everybody? This is Renegade number one, a.k.a. The Feminist Killer, hashtag Logitory. Um, I wanted to make another segment on unattractiveness, and like I said, I wanted to talk to... I wanted to give you guys a lot of closure for those who are in denial about their looks or they complain they can't get laid. This video is to bring you closure to your life. Hopefully, it gives you all the answers that you want. So, unattractiveness, let's start by saying, okay, guys who are unattractive, they may be in there. These are guys who are universally unattractive. If you're in your mid-20s, if you're in your early 30s and beyond, and you're still struggling with a love life, and you, you're trying to find the magical answers to how to get a woman, how to get or a girlfriend or a wife, the reality is... No one has ever had the courage to tell you your whole life that you're just not that attractive. And that's not to hurt your feelings. That's not here to be negative. That's not me talking shit because I don't think I'm attractive. You know, the reality is you cannot take that personal. No one likes people with bad genetics, whether that's male or female. None of us will sit here and say, oh, I'll date a chick with bad genetics because you'll be lying. Right. You got to look at your face. Right. Take pictures of your whole face and actually compare it to an actual attractive person. And once you do that, you'll see the flaws that you usually didn't look at when you were looking at your face. The reality is. We don't we usually have a, a bias assessment of who we are. Like I wanna think I'm attractive, but I'm not. It is what it is. You understand? I came out the way I came out. Now it doesn't have to be the end of the world. You can't but what you have to realize is for all of you guys who are unattractive, who are in denial about it, who call yourselves incels, or if you don't call yourself incels, the answer is you cannot make somebody be attracted to you. You just can't do it. You have to understand that attraction is never logically based. It's not based off of logic. Women barely use logic as it is. You understand? Women barely use logic in life. They're definitely not going to use logic when it comes to determining if a man is sexually attractive or not. Now, again, when you bring in resources to when you bring in resources to the play, you may have a nice house, you may have a nice car, whatever the case may be, and you still can't get laid. The reality is you have to understand how the female psyche works. Understand how the female mind works. Same thing in the animal kingdom. The female doesn't want the male lying with the worst genetics, with the with the the, the, the damaged man. Right. The female bird doesn't want the the bird that, that doesn't have the proper feathering. Right. Same thing with homo sapiens. The female doesn't want a male with bad genetics where if she reproduces with that man, her offspring have bad genetics. You can't take that personal for her wanting a good looking man. The problem is you weren't supposed to come about. You are a result of, like I said before, you are a result of two people with bad genetics reproducing or one of them. You understand? <clears throat> you have to make sure you don't reproduce. That way you can die off and you don't have no no traces of your genetics. I know that sounds I know that sounds fucked up. But the reality is, if your parents would have realized how ugly they were, you wouldn't be here in the first place. And, and when you're here in a world where we value beauty and you're not attractive, you're going to suffer. Now, with that being said, some people try to make beauty in the eye of the beholder, which is bullshit. You understand? It's for the most part, everybody has the same perception of beauty. Let's call it how it is. And that's not going to change. And so for guys who constantly make videos talking about how ugly they are, about how they're not shit, or you constantly wake up every day wishing that you had the looks, 
you're trying to get surgery. None of that is really going to change deep down how you really look. You understand? And so when you continuously yearn or per, uh, or pursue that lust or the feeling of an attractive female, you're always going to fail. You got to look at yourself in the mirror. And I'm not going to sit here and, and lie to you guys and, and tell you, oh, you know, oh, you're not ugly. I'm not here to give you a PC answer. I'm here to just give you closure so that way you can move forward in your life and not be stuck in this slump of depression. A lot of guys kill themselves every day or cont- are in a the still they're contemplating suicide because, again, they're in a world where they're not attractive and they never will be. And that's too much for them to, to stand. You know, right now, there's a there's a baby being born and that baby will not realize that it has bad genetics until it gets older. That's the sad reality for me. Now, if I, I'm going to give you a spill on me, if I know I'm ugly and I reproduce with somebody who's attractive, there are there is a chance that I could, you know, produce a attractive baby. But I don't want to give that baby that curse of being unattractive. You understand? And that's why I say reproducing is kind of it's a form of selfishness, because, again, you got two fat people, both probably got bad genetics, for example, and they're automatically going to reproduce an ugly ass child. You understand? And so your parents are responsible for you being in this shithole and for feeling like this to some degree because they were unaware of how they looked. You got to you got to be frank about your appearance. And once you establish, OK, I'm 20 something years old, I'm 30 years old. If I would if I was attractive, girls would have been going after me a long time ago. If you're in your mid 20s, I'll say this one more time. If you're in your mid 20s and after that later and you still complain about your love life, that should be a reflection about how you how your genetics It's a reflection of your genetics. Women have a knack for seeking out men with good genetics. That's never going to change. Women do not care about character. They never do. A character does not make them wet. You understand? Character does not make a chick wet. A guy with with the 90 degree jawline, the guy with the perfect narrow nose, not too big, not too small, uh, with the perfect full lips, nice skin, takes real good care of himself. And then obviously having resources is a bonus on top of that. But when, when you have unsymmetrical facial features, your nose is probably big. Your eyes are probably spread too far apart. You know, your breath stink, your teeth are fucked up. You're fat, you know, you're lazy. You have a weird lisp. You speak, you weird. You probably got some type of mental condition. Those are going to be turnoffs. You have bad, you have bad genetics. You have bad genetics, but don't kill yourself because you you you're not attractive to women. What you should do is now that you realize, okay, yeah, I'm ugly. There's a positive to being ugly. See, perception is everything. Like I said in the previous video, if you change your mindset, you can change your perception of reality. You only suffer when you continue to desire. Right. So, you know, you're ugly. And if you don't know you're ugly, you should probably be frank about it at this point. You understand? But I will tell you this. If you are an unattractive male or an incel in denial, you're only causing more suffering and more depression when you continuously listen to a lot of these guys sell you a dream, hence the PUA coaches, or you continuously look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh, I'm a fine motherfucker. But at the end of the day, your opinion of yourself is bullshit. Your mom's opinion of you is bullshit. Your dad's opinion of you is bullshit. Your sister's opinion of you is bullshit. Your brother's opinion of you is bullshit. You 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 cannot listen to anybody who is close to you how they perceive you cuz it's going to be biased. Family is always going to say, "Oh, you a cute, handsome young man." But the reality is if the females are not The females will give you a a true perception of how you look. You understand? 
it, it, you can't change that. And so, like I said, once you can accept that, you can focus on other areas of your life. And matter of fact, I, I think being alone and spending time with yourself, that's that's a underrated that's an underrated uh, privilege to have. You know, everybody thinks hanging out with people and constantly being around females is, is, is fun, but it's not. It's exhausting. Think about it. Even when you do have good genetics, you still got to impress women. You still got to keep up. You still got to take her out on dates. You know, you still got to do all these things to some degree, even though it may be easier for you to get to the bedroom. You understand? So <clears throat> the reality is you you still got to work for women to some degree, even when you're attracted. But when you're not attractive, you get to spend time with yourself. You get to work harder on your craft. You know, instead of trying to go to the bar, instead of trying to pay for 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 escorts or whatever the fuck a lot of a lot of these desperate, thirsty men try to do. You can take yourself out to eat. You can get some food, come back to your place, play some video games. If that's what you like doing, watch a movie by yourself, work out by yourself. You should start setting yourself up for a life by yourself. If you don't want to live a life by yourself, you know what you can do. That S word. You understand? And, and again, I hate to say that, but again, if you feel like it's too much for you to handle, then I understand if you want to take that road. Because again, this if this is a truth. This is not my truth. This is not renegade number one telling you that you're ugly. This is the truth. This is the truth. That no one had the courage to tell you because they didn't want to hurt your feelings. Get rid of emotion. Emotion is a block from the truth. You understand? I know I know it's too much to handle when you see a lot of guys with attractive women and you want to be that guy to be with an attractive female. But if you're five foot five, right, you ain't got no muscle definition, you, you know, whatever the case may be. You're 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 pretty much your chances are limited, extremely limited. Oh, and I don't want to hear about that that Nawalt case where oh I know a guy that's five foot five and he gets a lot of women. What's his personality like? That's another excuse me. That's another thing that you got to put into factor. Not only your looks, but your personality type. Don't conform to a popular standard just to get chicks. Don't change your your dress code. Don't start trying to to talk a certain type of way. It only shows your insecurities at the end of the day. That's one thing I will tell all of you guys who are in denial. Don't compromise for women. It's it's just not worth it. Spend time by yourself. Have a like I said, have a big meal by yourself, play some video games, watch some movies by yourself. You are all you need at the end of the day. That's all you need. You don't need nobody else. Hanging around people is overrated. Being attractive is overrated. Once your attractiveness wears off, then people don't want you anymore. That tells you the truth about humanity. Humanity only wants to be around you for when you're popular or if you're good looking or if you got money. Right? Being attractive is not really a personality trait. It's only a superficial trait. Say you're attractive and you you suffer a horrible accident and then you become ugly. No one's going to want to be around you anymore. You start to figure out people's true character. You know, you don't have to feel depressed because you you're you're not the most attractive guy. If you if you're an ugly guy, you're an ugly guy. Embrace that shit. It's a beautiful thing when you're able to accept something and then move on. Get rid of your ego. Your ego is only going to prolong more stress. Oh, I'm not ugly. There's a lot of guys who continuously spend the whole entirety of their lives in denial. Like, bro, you're ugly. You're ugly. There's no there's no say about that. I can sit here and I can sit here and roast myself if I wanted to. And I have no shame about it. And the reason I have no shame about it is because I don't value my looks. I don't give a fuck what people think about me. 
hey, you're ugly. Guess what? I know I am. So what? Move on about your day. People can't even insult me anymore because I'm impervious. I'm impervious to people trying to make fun of me. I accepted my reality. I accepted that though I'm 25 years old, if I live the rest of my life not getting laid or not getting the company of a female, I will be okay with that. Because guess what? Most of my time that I value is by myself. I look at spending time by myself as an opportunity to sharpen my craft or to focus on different avenues in my life. Learn a trick, learn a trade, go for a walk. Like I said, go take yourself to different restaurants, travel. It's an opportunity to uh, uh, get to know yourself more. But I will tell you, I will tell all of you guys that you will continue to fail if you continue to listen to false bullshit advice or what I would say false hope advice from these PUAs. You will continue to fail. Um, the reality is there is no solution. There is no solution for your unattractiveness. Surgery, guess what? Surgery is not going to hide your bad genetics. Say you have a kid with an attractive female, those bad genetics are going to show through those, those children. Right. Look at Michael Jackson, for example. Michael Jackson is an example of a person who was ashamed of their looks. Right. He didn't like his nose. So he tried to change his nose. But in reality, his so-called kids, those are not his real kids, because if they were his real kids, his actual black African-American genetics would show through those kids. Those kids are white. Not to veer off topic on Michael Jackson. I'm just using that as an example. But ultimately, the truth is, focus on other avenues of your life. Stop putting women as the number one priority in your life. And for those who are not doing that, that's excellent. Focus on yourself. You understand? And, and like I said, stop focusing on trying to look good. Stop focusing on trying to get your hair cut every two weeks. That shit is fucking feminine. That's another thing I want to talk about. That's extremely feminine in your thinking. A man who's obsessed with his looks, that's... that's you might as well be a fucking model. You understand? Oh, my looks, it's overrated. That's what I'm saying. You only, you're only hurt by the things that you value the most. Stop valuing that stuff. There's no, there's no true value in it, right? And if you continuously pedestalize the pursuit of women, you continuously pedestalize sex, you will continuously be disappointed. Sex is nothing. Once you gain that consciousness and that understanding and you're tired of having the same mentality, which is I can't get laid, I can't get laid. You're going to want to move on, move past that passive nihilist stage. Passive nihilism is only going to cause more suffering, you know, and like I said, ruminating in the in the same thoughts over and over again is just going to kill you. You know, and again, I'm not trying to motivate you guys, but at the same time, I want you to change. I'm trying to, you know, bring light of how silly, you know, this thought process is, right? Yeah, okay, I'm not attractive. Now I can focus on other aspects. Some of the most successful people are not even that attractive. Instead of channeling their energy towards what they couldn't get, they channeled their energy towards what they could get. You have a huge world out here and you can do anything you want to do, you know, in it. If you put your mind to it, you understand? Start a business, right? Focus on your career if that's what you want to do. You know, but if you don't want to work in corporate America, become an entrepreneur. Do something, but don't focus on what you can't get, right? And in order for you to move forward in your life, it requires you to accept the more you can you constantly deny you constantly are in this cycle of delusion you're just only prolonging that suffering so you know and and that's pretty much it man um i just wanted to drop this video and, and just let you guys know that you got to be honest with yourself in in order for you to accept the truth it takes your mentality 
to look at things from an objective point of view, not a subjective point of view. You can't change reality, so just accept it. But this is Renegade number one. Like the video, share, subscribe, peace.